another Kaya Rescues production. Mary in the Bible also had a lot. His name was Jesus. What? Let's go explore the Bible and find out. God's Story, Preparing for Jesus. So part of God's story is about how he prepared us for Jesus, and it begins like this. Remember when God created a perfect garden? He then created a perfect family, Adam and Eve, to live in the garden with him forever. He trusted them with life as long as they obeyed one rule. Unfortunately, Adam and Eve didn't trust God, and they disobeyed. Now Adam, Eve, everyone would have to die, separating us from God forever. This made God very sad, but he had a plan. He knew that he could still save his people through a great rescue, Jesus. Jesus was a big deal, and just like any big deal, people had to get ready for him. It's like before a big movie comes out, you watch the previews so you know what's coming. Well, Jesus was such a big deal that his previews started thousands of years before he came. The first preview is about a man named Abraham. God promised to make Abraham the father of God's special family. God gave Abraham one special son to start the family, Isaac. Now Abraham knew that one day he would have to die because of what happened in the garden. Every time Abraham did something wrong, God could have said, okay, because you've done this bad thing, you now have to die. But he didn't. Instead, God said, how about killing a lamb instead? It can die so you don't have to. Thank you, said Abraham. But one day, God asked Abraham to do something different. God said, Okay, because you've done this bad thing, your son Isaac has to die. This made Abraham very sad. But he decided to trust him anyway, even though this meant that he would never have the giant family God had promised. When Isaac asked where the sacrifice was, Abraham said, God will provide it. And guess what? He did! A ram died so Isaac didn't have to. The second preview happened hundreds of years later. Abraham's family, the Israelites, had gotten huge, but they were stuck as slaves in Egypt under a mean king called Pharaoh. He would not let the Israelites leave, so God said, Okay, because Pharaoh has done this bad thing, every firstborn son in the land of Egypt has to die. The bad news was this meant that the Israelite sons would have to die along with the Egyptian sons. But the good news was God, once again, created a rescue plan. God said, anyone who kills a lamb and paints the blood on their door will be saved. The destroyer will pass over your house. The lambs died so the sons didn't have to. Over and over again, when there was trouble, God sent a sheep to die so his people didn't have to. Until finally, God revealed his final rescue plan. The previews were over. It was time for the feature presentation. At last, Jesus the rescuer came. He lived on earth just like us, but then he died to take away the punishment we deserved. Jesus died so we don't have to. But guess what else? Jesus didn't stay dead like the sheep. He came back to life and went up to heaven. Now we can be close to God again. And one day, he'll recreate a perfect world for God's whole family to live in forever just like the original garden, but better. And that's the story of how God prepared us for Jesus. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Death separated us from God. God planned a great rescue. He gave us previews. A ram died so Isaac didn't have to. Lambs died so the Israelite sons didn't have to. Finally, Jesus died so we don't have to. But Jesus came back to life. Now death can't separate us from God. And that's a part of God's story. John 1 verse 29 The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world.
Jesus is the Lamb of God. Jesus died for the things of the world. Like these videos. Share these videos. Hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel. Remember to do our quizzes. The link is in the description below. See, See you next time. time.